Hey guys, I'm back again. I want to share with you guys some great books and it all has to do with inking. So the first book I want to show you is this one. It's called The Art of Comic Book Inking by Gary Martin and Steve Root. And it's got a lot of popular artists and comic book illustrators. As you can see, a whole bunch of names here. Jack Kirby, a whole, including John Buscema's in here someplace. Yeah, here he is right here. This book is awesome. So I actually recommend you guys to get this book. The book is it's, it's pretty long, so I'm just going to show you a couple of pages. Um, first of all, let me give you an idea, because you're going to probably like this book. Um... Let me uh, turn to, a, all right, for example, every artist that you see here, and trust me, every page has different artists, but every artist that you see here, every illustrator that you see here, contributed to the same story and script. For example, you see the penciling here, and then you see, you see the inking, and the inking is done by Gary Martin. Then the same thing over again, but it's done by Alex Garner. And then the same thing over again by Michael Blair. So basically, it's got a whole bunch of cool stuff that you guys can learn about inking. How to uh, outline the, the body first or the face. It's got a lot of stuff about, um, show you right now. From the beginning let's go through the first pages uh, let's see here we have an idea of inking here it tells you all the brushes that you need it's a lot of reading you know the different types of brushes that you need inking pens all that stuff different inking techniques line weight, everything, bold bold lines that you need on figures, then on faces, it's got everything on faces. Silhouettes. It's a very, very good book cross hatching, everything you need to know about inking. This book could actually tell you a lot of stuff, a lot of tips. And this is my favorite part since I'm into faces, facial shadow guide. And how to do the windows with more details. background so basically the book is really good and I got this like way way back probably like like I would say like maybe 10 years ago and uh, so far it's in good condition the only problem is like always I'm always writing on my books but it's mostly yellow uh, highlights so I could read the most important important parts of the book and stuff and a little bit of some illustrations I did there but but if I want to actually erase all that, I might go back and erase all my penciling that I did on this book to make it nice and clean. Even though I did it lightly, so it should look really good. It's a little bit kind of like wearing out at the edges, but I'm, I'm going to keep this book to the day I die. It's a very good book by um, Gary Martin and Steve Rood. Look for it. The Art of Comic Book Inking. So now I'm going to show you, um, let me uh, set up the phone here because this, this is a little book and I got to hold it. And this, uh, this is called How to Draw Science Fiction po Pocket Manga. And uh, it's got, you know, like every How to Draw book has got like maybe five artists that actually contributed to the book. So... Um, let me show you pretty much, uh, let me focus this a little better here. It's got a lot of great detailing here. I 
again, this uh, this will probably show you some gesture um, methods, you know. But it's basically everything, the way I see it is more about inking. That's how you actually start, you do the outline of the figure. Until you reach to the finish. So it's a very good book. It's like a like a mini book. So I'm going to go a little faster because there's more books I want to show you guys. This is actually the center line and gesture actually helps form the whole body, which is the core of the body. Sort of like an hourglass, but a, a curvy hourglass. If you actually study, it's like a curvy uh, hourglass. Let me get my... Um, I have another pencil here someplace. Let me see something. see the center line pretty much what I've been showing you guys it's like a center curvy line here's the torso right here where the the shoulder is going to be at and this is going to be the part that's going to hold the pelvic area the hip area which you see over here you don't see it here that much but you will see the center line right here and basically it's kind of like a oval bean shaped hourglass so if you look at it it's sort of like a, a bean shape and at the same time hourglass shape, but a very curvy hourglass shape. Let me give you a, a better demonstration of this. It's sort of like uh, if you were doing the center line and you're doing an hourglass, the shape of an hourglass. We all know what an hourglass is, but you're doing it into a curvy hourglass shape. So that's what that is. And later you just add the pe the crotch area and all that, everything. And then you add the the waistline, which is actually with the abdominal part of her stomach, the, the her stomach, the, her six pack is. Right here. So let me see if I can see more details over here. Of course, over here after that you start with the inking, you start outlining it with ink. Usually a lot of um, Illustrators actually start uh, inking the uh, outline of the figure or the face and then they start working in the center. Now I did inking before way 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 back but it wasn't you know I wasn't really uh, professional at that time. Um, I'm not saying I'm professional but I can do better inking now. For example, the inking way, way back I used to do, I would just, you know, ink whatever I thought that it would be best to ink. But, you know, like everybody has a different way of inking their cartoons or, or their figures or their drawings. Here we have a simple gestures, you know, shapes. Then after that, you start adding more details. And then you start doing the outline with the inking. You start inking the whole head. You start from the top, or you can start from the center, but it's always good to start from the top. Um, usually when I draw the, the figure, I usually start out with the center and then I leave the head for last. But when you're doing the inking, you can always start the inking from the top. This is a better way of understanding the inking. You start out with the outline first, and then after that, you start adding the details. As you can see, there's more details with the inking, especially over here, you see a lot of details. But again, you have to know how to use all types of uh, either, you know, thin brushes, 
sable brush uh, or, and also technical pens actually help you do all these details. So it's a really, really good book. Shows you a lot of ideas. And since I'm into fantasy and mutant art and all that stuff, this is the kind of book I definitely love. Um, you can see the inking on this, the outline. Kind of like very mid, in the mid, you know, kind of like uh, not too thick, not too bold the ink, but kind of like in the, in the middle process. Then after that, you start adding the details. Then you add more blacks. Please excuse the background. Uh, my neighbors, they uh, talk very, very loud. It's just incredible. All right, so going back to the drawing, then you add more details. More inking, more detailing. And you can see there's like a gesture, this skeletal part. This is sort of like a skeletal part. Um, let me give you a demonstration how I would look at this as a skeletal part. Uh, this is the way I would probably do it. I would do it sort of like the rib cage, you know, like kind of like a skeletal thing. And then I do sort of like a small circle there. And then the joints over here. And then I start shaping you know, the top, kind of like a skeletal thing, and then add just a little bit, like a little oval coming for the crotch area there, and then start doing the, the legs, the lines, sort of like the, it kind of, it would look kind of like bonish. There's another book I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you that it, it's got um, pretty much, maybe I'll show you that tomorrow. Um, it's basically gesture, but using skeletons. So it's a, maybe I did that video before, I don't know, I gotta check. But I might uh, show you guys that how you do figure drawing by using skeletal. So that's pretty much a skeletal, how you start. And then you start, you know, either scribbling. And don't worry, it might look messy, but all you, all you have to do is erase it not erase the whole drawing, but make it look like a ghost image with needed eraser that you could actually see it, the drawing, and then you could actually uh, mold it, and then you could actually uh, refine your drawing uh, better, you know, just by uh, refining it. That's all you gotta do. Okay, so um, maybe I'll do some, I'll show you that other book that has a skeleton uh, techniques and stuff so so basically you know when we're talking about gesture drawing and figure drawing it's basically it's the gesture of a skeletal form or it could be a dummy form or a mannequin also also if you can actually visualize it it looks kind of like an action toy too For example, if I were to do something like that, I would probably do like a kind of like an action toy. So I'm going to start with the head, the core of the body. I'll start with the torso, the socket right here, another socket here, just like a toy, just like a, um, a toy figure. And then I do maybe a joint, the, uh, how do you call it, the joint right here, a big joint. It's like a little ball here that holds, it's kind of like if you were seeing a toy. And then here's the pelvic area, right? And 
And then from there on, you start doing joints. Like that. Like that. Like that. So, kind of looks a little bit like it. Not that much, but it's almost there. And I really recommend everybody to use a reference because reference is good for uh, practicing, you know, when you're doing uh, figure drawing. And then to get this shape of the body, all you got to do is kind of like outline closer to the drawing that you did. You outline the body. That's it. It's just not, it's not so complicating. It's like if you were seeing an action figure, and that's what this is. Sort of like a mannequin. That's what you're actually looking at right now. You're forming your figure into some type of mannequin. So let's continue with the rest of the book. Again, everything has to do with inking. So basically, this book is all about inking. Perspective. perspective let me see what time is it but soon I gotta go to work oh it's gonna be 8 o'clock soon So I'm going to see if I have time to show you at least one more book. How to do inking on weapons, which is really cool. And spaceships. How to draw spaceships. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen this book in a long time. But now that I'm looking at it, it's just I enjoy every method and technique there is when it comes to art. And that's my favorite uh, subject. Uh, art is definitely my favorite subject and music and history. I'm not very good with social studies or anything like that. I was very bad in reading. <laughs> All right, guys. So now we're going to go on with the next book. This one is called super powered villains and it's another good book it's also by uh, Ben Dunn um, again it shows you everything you need for inking I'm gonna have to move the phone so that way because this is a pretty big book so I'm gonna have to show you little by little Basically, everything you need to know about the anatomy. All the different shapes, it tells you right here. Actually, yeah, right here. So, yeah, all these names, deltoids, and these are names that, that are kind of hard to remember. All these names, the muscle names, all that, all that uh, bicep stuff is kind of hard to remember. I'll be able to draw all these biceps and muscles. And... Uh, but I just won't be able to remember the uh, the names. It's kind of hard to remember all the names. Now, this is what I like. You see, the figure is done, and then you start doing the contour, which is the, he does bold inking lines for the whole outline of the figure, as you can see. It says it right here. Or well, everything you need to know doing the inking. And then you start adding the details. So this is a very good book. I actually recommend you guys to get this one book. 
There's three books that you should get. The one that I showed you before by Gary Martin and Steve Rood and these books. Because it, it gives you like, I don't know, like uh, an inspiration of doing inking. And I, one time when I saw this, well, the first time I saw this book, I got really interested because I like the way, and I need a lot of practice with inking because inking is not easy to do. And I think I'm going to start doing some tutorials on inking. The only problem is that when you're doing the inking, it takes a long time. But maybe I'll just show you some idea of it. Maybe start out with a face on inking. But I need to find all my old brushes and pens that I used to have. I have a, there's a pen that's really cool. You actually put the ink inside and it's like a brush pen. I'm going to start using those. I got to look for it, but I have it somewhere. <clears throat> this is pretty cool. After that, you start inking the whole body. And this is what I mean. This is a very simple technique is by starting by a gesture and the, uh, the level the balance of the gesture, meaning the uh, toward the uh, shoulder area and then the pelvic area. Then you could start doing pretty much all, like I do it, either using the triangle or you can use the, uh, the ball shape and just add the lines for the legs and do the ovals. Now this guy actually just did the oval and he did the ovals for the legs. Now, some people actually work different when they do gestures for the bodies. Everybody has a different way of doing it. <clears throat> it's not pretty much like I showed you on this one. Speaking of gestures, I will continue doing, <clears throat> so far I've done gestures and poses, part one, part two, part three. I need to do part uh, four. Then I need to do part five because there's a lot to know. There's a lot to learn when it comes to gestures and uh, figure drawing. Also, there's all kinds of techniques doing uh, gestures and figures. So basically, this book is about doing the gesture and then finishing it with inking the whole process. As you can see, here's the inking, the outline of the inking, and then more details. So what's good about this book is that not only shows you the inking process, but it actually tells you, all you have to do is read. And it's made for kids. Um, I would say more like um, probably 10 up. Because um, that's how I, use, when I started drawing, even though I didn't draw like really, really professional like everybody else does, when I was like um, seven or eight years old, I started getting better. Like when I was like maybe 10, 11, probably 14, 15. And that's when I started uh, drawing more and more and more. This is another book, which is really good. This one is called How to Draw alien babes and princess as a matter of fact guys i'm going to leave this book for later on maybe um if i uh get early in my job like maybe an hour or something i'll probably uh, share this book with you guys all right guys i hope you enjoy this in this video and practice a lot and start inking if you want you know if you like <clears throat>